Right, following on from my previous video, where I put the Vaseline in the hole of the saber tooth tiger's head, sounds weird. We're going to start reassembling. Now, I like to start with from the head, and there's other bits to do through first, and there's some a few gotchas. So, firstly, we're going to put the tusk. back in. Try not to scratch off those stickers I very carefully slightly painstakingly put in earlier. Just make sure that's still all moved. All good. Has all. Right. So we gotta put the other tusk or fang too. Now the mastodon's got tusks, has not he? The Triceratops has got the horns. Ha ha ha. There. Little, little screws. And remember the teeth. A uh, little proprietary, or you know, a little flange. Screw heads as well. Make sure that still works. A little bit tight there. Ooh, uh, loosen that up. Still a little bit tight. All day. All right. We reassemble the head and just screw those parts together. Two of your standard machine machine screws using toys. They're the original ones I took out and just cleaned up. So that's okay. So batten that down, batten that down carefully. There we go. So grr, that's the head. All right, put her to one side for now. Now, the fun part of putting the carapace back together, you'd think that you could just, you know, Whack all the bits in, put the legs in, off we go. No. You gotta start with the outer carapace. You gotta work your way in. It's a little bugger, it'll get, it'll get you. So, we'll start with the right hand carapace, or left hand, whichever way you're looking at it. Rear leg, so it's back on that pin. So remember we've got the little clicker clicker mechanism and those are the clicker holes that use it. Look at it in out. So we put that on. That gets that leg in place. And obviously you have to line up the front leg axles. Axle. With the bevel there. That slots back through there. Make sure those go tight up together. That's good. Now, the gotcha here is you start putting the you've got the little springs, little tabs that go in these these slots there, other way around, obviously. If you put those in first and screw them down and think you're doing well, you won't be able to get to that little screw, that little bugger in there. So, make sure we get that in there. Just do that up. Not too tight, remember. Not too tight, Josephine. And you also have a secondary screw hole just there above the leg. Which again, you got to do first, otherwise you're going to be stripping the bugger down yet again, because that'll be that one screw you missed. So, and those, those two done. Make sure the leg works and out. Shake it all about. Good kitty. Now, I may or may not. These spring tabs. These work. Make it click in. Click into place 
at least in the bottom of the T-Rex Tyrannosaurus leg when you're making the full Megazord. Now what you got to remember is these guys have their own shorter if you can see that shorter flange head and screw so we put that in now hopefully you can see this see how that springs back and forth that's what makes the connection on the bonnet and the T-Rex leg. Right, that's that. That half done. Now I just repeat the process for the other half of the carapace. There you go. screw there. Just make sure you've got a little tray, strong magnet, something like that. Just just handy. Because if you drop these screws, they ping and jump like little well like a field of grasshoppers like bullets ricocheting sometimes and unless you've got a lot of spares. You don't want that happening. It's a, just a pain in the arse. It really is. So, test this bit. In and out. Shake it all about. Lovely jubbly. And once again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lovely. Now, next little gotcha. You kind of think, yes, now I can start putting this together. And no, you can't. Stop. You've got the neck axle, spring and a red click goes on that, and the bit that a lot of people forget, the tail needs to go on, otherwise you're going to be stripping it down again, and again, and again, and that's a right pain in the arse as well, pardon my English, ha ha ha, right, now, another little gotcha, while you're trying to put these guys together, that spring and that clicker, which I just realized I put on backwards, dummy. That spring obviously pushes back against the neck. That was clever. Push it back against that section of the neck. You can see, you might be able to see the, see the grooves in there. So if I sort of simulate it, you push against it. Gotcha when you're putting these guys back together. Those tend to push back and really helpfully this whole neck piece can go flying off quite easily and the tail can go easily. So just be mindful. What I try and do again is just do my best just to perhaps keep a thumb there and just hold it level and Slot it all back into place. Very quick test. That looks good. And place your screws. For one of a better phrase. That's what she said and all that. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And don't forget, you got a little, little tiny little screw just in there under the it's I can't remember my uh, animal biology. I just flank, it's rump, hip. And then I would advise just getting them, get the screws started. And that's what she said. Don't tighten them all the way just yet. Because this one is deeper than my screwdriver. You might find it. Have a slightly longer screwdriver on hand and tighten it. You may find 
You need to give the carapace a little squeeze just to just to make sure they all fits together snugly. And again, that's a bit of a residual effect from from painting because you can get some of the, you get some of the paint on the pins on the inside, little connectors that join up. That sometimes make it makes it a bit tight. And see my previous section. Maybe use a bit of Vaseline if if necessary. You know. Now you don't want to go gung ho with Vaseline because I'll just well make a bit of a mess with it. And no one wants mess all over their toys. Oh, ha, ha. Right. Enough with the uh, thin bar saunders. Oof, no, no. Right. So that. Hat. That. So let's just test the tail. Yeah, it stays in. Test the legs. Test the neck. Head. Tusks. We have almost near complete. A couple of last little steps to go. Now we've done that. Do the front legs. Replace those springs. Now I did put a bit of Vaseline on these earlier. Ooh, uh, make sure I get the the correct leg the correct way around. Squeeze down on that gently. That's what she said. Ha oh, oh. ha. And if there are any anyone watching who gets offended at my silly little innuendos. I do apologize, but I was born and raised in the 70s and 80s. Nothing really offends me, so. I might stop that. So, I remember these, if you can see, these front legs, the tires, they've got a little flange screw. Now, the two are two flange screws at the and the front legs are longer than the ones we used we used on the inside be mindful of that because you can cause some damage to the plastic obviously using the too long a screw or just chew through just act like a drill and cut through it so There she is. There are, there's one more little step, but I want to do that last, and that is putting these little, and these little wheels back on the legs. Hey, 